What's your name? Feels like a CBI interrogation. <laughs> but yeah, uh, hi everyone. My name is Anshul Sadaria. Uh, who are you and what do you do? Yeah, I am a human being, thankfully, and I work at Google as a software engineer. Okay. How has your experience been so far at Google? A very cliche question, but I have a very personalized answer to this. Like I joined Google when it was COVID, and I didn't see Office for almost as long as two years. So people were very, very friendly. They knew that okay, this guy is coming straight from the college. He knows absolutely nothing about corporate. So let's be considerate with him. So my manager was super amazing. My mentors were great. My colleagues were also really, really amazing. In one word, the experience has been overwhelming. It has been a roller coaster with its ups and downs. But yeah, super thrilled, super thrilled experience. Amazing. What's your favorite part about working at Google? Google food, I guess. I mean, I have not had a lot of Google food, but yeah, people say it's amazing. I mean, it's still COVID, so the pantry and all of that is not working full fledged. But whatever food I have had, I have got the advice from my friends that you should stop eating or eat a little less than what you normally eat at the Google cafe. So yeah, Google food, I guess. <laughs> okay, amazing. Uh, if you could change one thing when you look back at your career, what would it be? When we talk about career, okay, when I when I talk about the career at Google, I think I am pretty much satisfied with whatever I have had. Definitely, I could have improved upon some parts, but I guess I don't want to change anything that has happened to me at Google. But if if I consider my career starting from my college time back in 2016, you know. I feel I could have been a little more explorative in my first few semesters. I mean, I was a little burdened up by the expectations of getting good grades or amazing grades, which I definitely would want to change. And another thing is, I would have wanted that I dedicated a lot of my time to competitive programming and tried to go into the regionals or at least represent India, perhaps. Maybe because I know I mean I had the talent, but I just didn't give the sufficient time or the dedication which people usually give at that particular level to get that particular results they want to. So yes, that's one thing that I want to change. I see. What's your favorite programming language and why? Okay, this this is a very controversial question. You know, I will I will say something and then there will be haters from other uh, programming language who are going to throw me out. Like they will stop following me more. So. I think, I mean, favorite is definitely C++. I'm just thinking about the why part. Can I say that it's the only programming language I know, that's why C++? <laughs> Absolutely. No, the reason, I mean, to give a very technical reason to that, a technical answer to that is that C++ is a very programmer friendly language, you can say. Whereas when I talk about Python, it's a more data science oriented language, which abstracts out a lot of functionalities which C++ provides. Like C++ has a lot of building blocks which you can play around with to code however you want and whatever you want to. That's why perhaps C++. I see. Amazing. Uh, what has been that one side project that you have made that you're proud of and it's your favorite to date? I think there are a couple of side projects which I am honestly very proud of. Uh, one of them was a part of course project. I mean, I took a course in big data and policing and we were asked to create our own project related to that. So there is, there is a funny backstory related to it, like how I came up with that idea of the project. So my father got some traffic e and uh, like there were three to four e and he was like the like the price of the violations, like the price of the e challenge is increasing. So please pay them so that if I commit the violation next time, the ticket price is not as big as it's right now. So I was like, this is something which motivated my father to pay those e challenge. So what if I can get the data of all the traffic violations, like all the e challenge of Ahmedabad city and then perform some analysis on it. Like, what is the violation that people are more frequent to keep on repeating? For example, red light violation or perhaps over speeding at some particular area. So I wanted to perform some sort of analysis like, okay, on Raksha Bandhan, this is the violation that's occurring uh, more number of times, or perhaps this is the location where this type of violation is occurring more. And what is motivating the behavior of human beings to keep on repeating those traffic violations. So it was a very, you can say kind of a baby project for me where I thought about the idea collected the data, worked in a team and ultimately published a research paper and gave a poster presentation for the same. So that's one thing that I'm really, really proud of. Wow, that's 
sounds also very interesting. Um, if I were to ask you that if you're going to continue programming for the rest of your life, rest of my life oh definitely not why would i want to program for the rest of my life my eyes are already uh, become a little weak uh, in this 6 years of programming and all so i mean i i definitely love programming that is something i love to the core of my heart but not exactly programming in its true sense i love designing stuff i love designing new systems improving the infrastructure and all of that so perhaps for 10 to 15 years i will continue the journey of uh, like individual contributor and all of that then perhaps if i get an opportunity at a good place preferably google then i would want to lead a team or at least a product and make a next level impact to google itself i see so if it wasn't programming then what would you do right now or in the future uh in the future if you were not to retire uh, i mean okay as a programmer if i mean you can say i uh, i have a lot of other hobbies i mean i could be a uber driver i love driving a lot uh jokes apart i mean i feel that i am kind of a person like 50 shades of anshul you can say i have a lot of uh, variety of interest like i love reading i love writing i could write a novel i don't know or perhaps uh, i could start a cafe on the top of a hill somewhere or a shack near a beach and become a chef or an entrepreneur i don't know but if if i want to specify one thing uh, that i really want to do and i could do it right now as well i could just quit my job uh, of being a software engineer and i could do it that is being a track lead obviously like i need to get a degree in mountaineering and all of that but i really love trekking to the core of my heart it's just one trek that i have done till now and that's just a few months back but that particular experience changed my perception towards life and everything you know so, uh, like it was a mountain summit it was a peak summit that we did of chandrashila peak so standing at the top of the peak looking at those grandeur like the himalayan range it makes you feel so humbling and overwhelming that okay you are nothing in front of this nature this world and the universe so i want to keep repeating i want to keep having those humbling experiences and i want other people also to have those humbling experiences so yes perhaps track lead is something i will go ahead with a wanderer rather yeah a wanderer yeah amazing uh, how was your parents first reaction when they heard about your offer at google they were i mean they they were in tears uh, like uh, okay let me let me just go back and share the story about it like how it all panned out so i got the google offer on 30th november and 1st december is my birth date so i was very excited that okay let me go to ahmedabad i booked the tickets on that day itself and early morning i was there in ahmedabad when i was in the cab i called my parents that okay i am in the loo right now let me call you back after 15 20 minutes so i just knocked at the door so my parents were like that who could be at this time and they opened the door and it was me so they were like initially they were a little frustrated and irritated that okay we understand it's your birthday but your on campus placement is going on why did you cut it off and like come to surprise us or do anything like that so i was like i have got the offer from google and i'm going to be a googler in a few months so this is my birthday gift to you all on my birthday yeah wow, so they were in tears really special yeah it was amazing Okay so what's the biggest tech what if that keeps you up at night Biggest tech what if So I have had these nightmares that okay one day artificial intelligence is going to take over the world it will get its own conscience and it will start coding everything on its own and then one day will become jobless So that's one thing that I am really scared of that okay within 20 years if it doesn't become conscious that i am fine my career will be over by that time like 20 30 years but before like if it happens after 5 to 10 years i'm like what will i do after those 5 to 10 years so that that's a little scary that must be a little intimidating i'm sure yeah but right now it's not at a it's a at, at a very premature stage so i'm not worried at all about it but yeah i get to those nightmares i see uh do you think one should specialize or try to be jack of all trades To be honest like if if I talk about me I am a very explorative person I want to see how something works how that thing works how that thing works and so on so I would say kind of a hybrid of both the things like the good of both the parts that one should be explorative and try to be jack of all trades so that you are not completely dependent on someone else for any task 
ओके एंड वन शुड ऑब्वियसली नॉट बी जस्ट जैक ऑफ ऑल ट्रेड दैट शुड बी वन ट्रेड इन विच यू शुड स्पेशलाइज डेफिनेटली सो दैट यू आर इिप्लेसिबल इिप्लेसिबल यू नो आई से वॉट्स योर फेवरेट आई डी आई डी ई If I go, I, if I am going to share this answer, the tech community is going to throw me out. So can can I dodge this question? <laughs> if you were to still answer the question. Uh, uh, okay. I, I to be honest, I have not used VS or anything like that. Any funky IDE till now. Sublime is the text editor which had helped me pull throughout those four years of college. And Sublime and Vim are my go-to. Like IDEs, I am pretty comfortable with both of them. So oh, yeah. This question doesn't land you in a pickle later. And I hope not at Google, but yeah, perhaps in the community they are surely going to ban me off for some time. <laughs> I see. The biggest mentor that you have had or still have in your life, and why they are your biggest mentor. Uh, I had a biggest mentor in my life, and that was my father. But yeah, I mean, he he motivated me for everything. He supported me in all my choices that I made. He never questioned anything that I did. He always course corrected me if he thought I was going wrong. But yeah, that's that's kind of a life coach. Uh, apart from him, uh, there's a professor, Pono Rangam Kumar Guru. Uh, we call him PK in short with love, so you don't need to understand the pronunciation of his name. But yeah, PK sir was one such professor who came into my life, course corrected my career. boosted it into a different tangent and now we are on a very family like relation i mean we both mock each other have fun with each other and it's a very friendly uh, relation that i have with him so yeah pk sir amazing uh which three devices are there that you can't function without three devices i am not sure if i can't function without a lot of them i think one of them is right over here i just put it on silent because i was using it on and on during this recording so mobile phone definitely i can't live without it uh next i think obviously laptop because uh, it gives me money and food and shelter and all of that so laptop is definitely required if i still want to put the third one in somehow squeeze it into this uh like three devices perhaps headphone but that's not something that i can't live without that's for people around me because i am happy with the loud music loud noise from my laptops or mobile phones it's the people around me who are going to push me and you like force me to use headphones so yes perhaps headphones i see uh how do you tackle stress at work i think stress is an inevitable part of like any engineer not just software engineer any engineer or doctors or any profession stress is going to be a part and parcel of your life it is important that you don't bottle those feelings down inside you and then it will like pop up in a different direction in a different way than what you and the people around you would have anticipated so i would definitely suggest like have good food sleep on time uh, google food like is a big de-stressifier or whatever you guys you want to call it you know so it reduces the stress by a lot of margin like google food then i prefer talking to my colleagues some you can say office gossips or something like that uh, because you feel a little under the weather when you are not being productive enough you feel like okay will i be at the same position 6 months down the lane i am not productive enough so when you converse with others you realize that okay crows are black everywhere he is also not productive she is also not productive we are all facing the same challenge not at the same time but perhaps they have faced the same challenge at some time in the past so having a talk with them and importantly you should do this conversations with your manager or your mentor they have immense life experience career experience so they would have some pretty good advice which you should definitely follow if and ever you get a chance i have had like i was very lucky to get amazing mentors and managers with whom i could share anything like family so yes that that helps me that is absolutely true having a great manager makes your life easy at work for i hope you have a great manager absolutely <laughs> Okay um speaking of your pk sir besides him was that one thing that you miss about your college life one thing i have a lot of things i mean i can write a book on what i miss about my college life right now one thing, one thing uh i guess mess food okay okay jokes apart mess food is something that i don't want to remember ever messy <laughs> i it, it was messy i mean i loved it in the first year but by the time i went to the fourth year it was just zomato and swiggy all around So one thing that I honestly uh, miss about my college is obviously being in the college 
the experience that you get like we were all friends with next door rooms so we just used to knock at the friends door at 3 am in the morning and we were like let's go out and eat some bonda so we used to go on the street just across our college and we used to have snacks at 4 am in the morning we used to go to charminar just to have tea i don't have tea but i like traveling so i just used to go with them at any random time of the day so that sense of freedom and uncertainty if you can say that is something that i miss a lot about my college life wow you make me feel nostalgic too <laughs> okay uh, what is that one embarrassing interview moment you till date recall should i should, do i need to answer this question absolutely uh not exactly an interview moment that happened after the interview okay so i was uh, like giving my internship interviews and disha was one of the companies where i went on site like i went to their office to give the interviews so i gave three technical interviews and then i was shortlisted for a hr round so me and one of my seniors we both were the only people from my college who went till the hr round so when i came back after 10 to 12 hours of exhaustive uh, day and interviewing and all of that i shared that experience with my friends and i was like we were in the hr round so probably we both will get shortlisted and selected i told my parents as well that okay d show lot of money in internships and all of that uh, i have cracked it and all of that i also gave party to my friends that night even before the results were out i gave them treat and the next day uh, like i was going to the mess for lunch and i got a phone call from my friend that hey uh, disha results are out did you check i didn't listen any further to what he said i just cut the call and checked on facebook what the results were i was not selected out of two people they shortlisted one for from the hr round i was like what is happening man i was already rejected in a couple of other companies including google so i was disheartened to the core of my heart and i was just looking around in the mess that okay is there any person who knows me and who knows that i gave party to my friends previous night saying that i cracked the show interview so it was a very embarrassing moment to be honest how oh, should that must hurt yeah <laughs> but all well that ends well so definitely yeah. definitely yeah. what's five go to apps you can't live without five go to apps okay I think YouTube definitely I can hear music I can watch videos on YouTube so YouTube is an inevitable part of my mobile phone now then Google uh I guess Google Pay because you need to pay for all this stuff that you are going to buy definitely Google Pay then Google Maps because like now you cannot ask the pan wala that okay where where like which direction i should follow to go where i want to so google maps is also inevitable not just for me i guess for everyone in india and around so youtube google pay google maps gmail definitely without mails and all of that i don't know if i would be able to do collaborations or meet amazing people so gmail as well now enough of brand promotion for google one 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 application which is non google which i cannot live without zomato i i am not sure i can i guess i can live without it i can cook on my own so zomato is not something that i require to survive let me let me check my mobile phone to see what all applications are there go ahead yeah zero da is something i can't live without you know i mean yeah i need to earn money from somewhere like i need to do trading and all of that so i think kite by zeroda is one app which comes before all of these four applications by google i can't survive without kite i see okay what's the best tech related joke you have ever heard i mean non techies are not going to be able to understand it so apologies before i like say that joke but there was one incident where like my mom keeps on visiting like my office the house office that i have created it's on the penthouse so she comes up and sees that what i am doing so whenever she came i was just staring at the screen so when i came down for dinner she was like what do you do all day so i was like i keep staring at the screen so then do they give you money for staring at the screen so i was like no i solve the bugs by staring at the screen they get scared of me and then they get resolved on their own so that's that's something that whenever i tell that to my techy friends they all connect with it like it's not just my bad condition or something that i only face all of them all the techies face that but i guess non techies won't be able to understand it <laughs> What is that one learning that you take with yourself wherever you go? 
वन लर्निंग आई थिंक आई टेक ऑल द लर्निंग्स फ्रॉम माई फादर वेर एवर आई गो बट देर वॉज देर इज वन फ्रेज दैट ही यूज टू कोट एवरी टाइम एंड ही यूज टू कोट इट सो मच आई गॉट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड बाई इट इट्स अ हिंदी पोयम इट्स अ फ्रेज ऑफ अ हिंदी पोयम लहरों से डर कर नौका पार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की कभी हार नहीं होती कुछ करे बिना ही जय जय कार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की कभी हार नहीं होती सो ही यूज टू से दिस दैट वेन टैलेंट डजेंट डू हार्ड वर्क हार्ड वर्क बीट्स टैलेंट सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट I am going to carry forever in my life and also spread it to everyone around me so that they understand the importance of hard work. Amazing that's pretty inspiring man. Yeah. Okay, uh if we were to end this video on a good note, uh, what is that one piece of advice you would want to give to an aspiring SWE or SDE? I think it's not just one advice. I think the main part about being a software engineer or any engineer in general, okay? that's self learning is going to teach you a lot more than perhaps your college classes or your youtube videos or any book that you are going to read so make sure that you try to get the mud on your hands either it's coding you are not going to get mud but your brain is going to get muddy so make sure that you like make your brain dirty make your hands dirty by going deep into the problem and you are going to come out brighter than you were before Amazing that's great it was nice to have you here man yeah thanks a lot So that was Anshul from Google and we hope that you really enjoyed this rapid fire with us. Do let us know how you like this video in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to Scaler's YouTube channel to keep receiving more amazing content from creators like him. Thank you thank you so much for inviting to this quick rapid fire fun section of this podcast. It was really amazing. Amazing. <laughs>